In the experiment, you need a few things. You need a, a cylinder object, such as a can. You can also use a bottle or a ball. A cylinder will work the best because it will go straight. You also need probably at least 10 of some object. It could be pieces of paper. It could be something else you'll see. And you'll need this YouTube video, which will be linked for you. This video, so you have a beep every second and a different beep every 10 seconds. A different beep doesn't matter, don't worry about it. Its point is to have the time every second. So this watch, I'm gonna roll this, and every second I'm gonna put these down. Roll it. We're now, now I'm gonna measure this from the start point to each individual point. One way could be the tape measure, and we would do something like this. And we would measure the distance to each of the course. So that would be zero, this would be 71, this would be 127, this one 181. That's one way to do it. Okay, another way of measuring distance is using your phone or tablet. On iOS, there's a built-in app called Measure. On Android, I have a link for another one that you can try out. So I'm gonna load up Measure. And it's going to tell you to move your phone around to start. And then come around here. A little closer. I'm going to put it on here. And I click there and I just drag. And it says 70. That's what, what I said. Let me go to the next one. 127. 1.27 meters. And the next one, 1.76. And it's record each one as you go. In a spreadsheet, which could be Google Sheets or Excel, we're going to go into time and we're going to enter our X value, which is time. You're going to press Alt or Option Enter to get returns to the same cell. Press T slash S for time in seconds. In this, we're going to have displacement. Uh, Alt Enter. And again, you think you want D, but the symbol for distance or displacement really is S in physics. We're going to find out. And we're going to be working in meters okay and now we're going to have our time zero one two three four five six seven we could do that or even better we know we can go zero one two and the computer's smart enough to guess what we want now we're measuring and entering our distances